On today's episode, I fire a taser. She's been tased right in her fat ass. I use the radio. Looks like a small business aircraft. Holy shit. Uh, dispatch a three out of ten. Uh, we do have an aircraft down. And I turn on a flashlight. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. What's going on here with this house? It's dark as hell out here, so we're going to get our flashlight out. And let's see. Whoa, he's running. Okay, sir. Sir, sir. Hello, everybody. My name is Anton. Welcome to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5 LSPDFR. Today, we are going to do a patrol in the downtown area of Los Santos. And the vehicle that we're using today is going to be this little CVPI beauty by Toy. He just put out this Portland police pack just the other day and it contains uh, three different vehicles there's a tahoe and fpiu and this lovely lovely cvpi and that is what we're going to use for our patrol i've used toys vehicles in the past he's done absolutely fantastic job with them so i'm really 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 looking forward to getting out and doing this patrol here in the cvpi before we take off i am going to quickly give you a look here at of course all of our different lights so there we go that is our third stage of ELS looks just like that very very nice I am usually used to more lights and I know that the CVPI that BX bugs put out has I think a couple more lights um, especially on around the windshield area but I mean at the end of the day I think it's the right amount of lights there's not too few lights or there's not too many lights so I think it's just the perfect amount the car looks really really good and obviously toy here is going to uh, try to replicate the actual car of the Portland police. So, looks absolutely great. Gonna drop it down here to the second stage of ELS. So essentially, we just have some of the patterns changing up here in the front, as well as in the back. And then, of course, our first stage of ELS, just like that, we just have these lights here in the mirrors going off. So that's the only, uh, that's the only difference there. And uh, jumping into the uh, interior of the vehicle, just give you a quick tour here. There we go, that's exactly what it looks like. We got our computer down there, our hands on the wheel, very nice. Rear view mirror, and looking in the back there, there's the divider. Back apartment for the passengers, for the people that we're going to be arresting. So very, very nice, great interior as well. So if you do play the first person view away, this is a good car to do so. All right, so with that said, we're going to head out. It's a windy night here in Los Santos. And uh, let's go ahead and see what sort of trouble we can come across. Dispatch 3 out of 10. Uh, show me 1041 and uh, I'll be 10-8. So I did end up upgrading to Ragehook plugin uh, version 51, 0 0.51, and that is what the hell is going on with this vehicle right there. Attention unit three, okay, well, I'm sure somebody else can take it. We gotta take a look at this vehicle. What's going on here? The guy sitting in there, he's just kind of, he's just driving like an asshole. That's what he's doing. Let's go ahead and follow him here for a second. I don't know what the hell he was doing there. So I did update to uh, Rage Plugin Hook 51. I uh, had all of my uh, callouts and all of my scripts and all of my mods, everything like that, uh, updated as well. So we'll see what happens here. It should be running pretty smoothly, but obviously I don't know what's going to happen. So we'll take a look and uh, see how the rest of this episode turns out, as well as some of my live streams. But I do have some of the latest versions now of Albo's mods installed as well. He has done some updates to LSPDFR Plus as well as Police Radio and uh, all of those mods. So, alright, let's go ahead and respond to this call. I was going to stay in the downtown area, but I'll take the uh, silent alarm call. Then That guy is just driving like an idiot. That's all it was. I thought he might be under the influence or something, but he's fine. Dispatch a 3 out of 10. Uh, copy that. Uh, we're going to be responding code 2. Just going to head over there, code 2. Middle of the night, no need to uh, wake people up. It's right around the corner here anyway. Whoa, truck. Right around the corner here. We'll kill our lights as we get closer to the house. And let's see what's going on. Looks like we do have a break and enter situation. Alright, here we are. It's going to be this house right here. Looks like in the corner of the street. Uh, that is affirmative dispatch. Uh, 3 out of 10, you can show me 1023. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look here. What's going on here with this house? 
It's dark as hell out here, so we're gonna get our flashlight out. And let's see. Whoa, he's running. Okay, sir. Sir, sir. Hey, stop. No, 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 no. Get, uh... Get, uh, get on the ground. Do not be hiding under the vehicle there. Get on the ground. Man, I need my flashlight. I cannot see a damn thing. Oh, he's got a gun as well. Holy crap. That could have escalated really, really quickly. I'm glad that it didn't. Uh, dispatch uh, 3 out of 10. That is affirmative. I have one in custody here uh, on the intersection of Nicola Avenue and Westmere Drive. All right, man. Why don't you go ahead and sit down here for me right now? All right. I'm just going to quickly search you. Make sure you got nothing illegal there on you. Nothing that can uh, jeopardize my safety or yours. Uh, let's take a look here, see what he's got. He's got a key to a Maze Bank a safety deposit box. So it looks like that is what he probably stole that or from that house. Let's find out who he is. Dispatch uh, 3 Adam 10 requesting a uh, 1027 on, on a Herbert Tolland. Herbert Tolland comes back with an active license uh, or a valid license rather. No active warrants. Uh, let's get him out of here. Dispatch uh, 3 Adam 10 requesting a 1091 here to my location for the suspect. We'll get uh, a unit to come out here, pick him up. I'm going to do a quick scan of the uh, backyard there as well. Just to see if there's anything else, or anybody else rather, in uh, back there that's not supposed to be. But we'll just give a second here for the uh, backup unit to arrive here to pick him up. They're just right around the corner. So there they come. I see those flashing lights as they barely make their way through, of course. Come on, you can do it. I mean, no need to rush here, right? Not sure whether lights are not on. All right, well, that officer's here. They got to get out and uh, pick the suspect up. Hi. And let's go take a look here quickly. I just want to make sure there's nobody back here that's uh, not supposed to be. None of his accomplices or anything like that. No, it looks pretty good. Looks really good. Okay, nice and easy. So it looks like he uh, probably broke through that door right there. Although the lights are on in the house. I don't know if the owners are home or what's going on. But all right, there's nobody back here. We're good to go. He's been picked up. And uh, we're going to be code 4 here. Dispatch uh, 3 out of 10. Uh, we're code 4 here. You can show me uh, clear off uh, the call. And it could be 10-7 back into downtown. Whoa. I just heard an explosion. Just heard an explosion. Let's go ahead and check that out here quickly. I'm not sure what that was. I'm not sure what that was. But I did just hear an explosion somewhere. Not seeing anything explosion-wise, so... We're gonna let that go, but... We'll obviously keep our, uh ear out for any calls that come in in regards to any sort of explosions or fireworks or anything like that being set up. Uh, dispatch uh, 3 out of 10, uh, gonna be 10-7 back to uh, da uh, uh, downtown area. Let's be a little proactive here. We're gonna go ahead and run his plate here at the traffic light while we wait for it to change. And there we go. We got Julia Sidilto. Sidillo? driving with a suspended license. So if Julia is in the vehicle and she's driving it, she's driving on a suspended license. Everything else otherwise with the car comes back all right. So it looks like that is going to be our first traffic stop here of our episode. We'll uh, have a conversation there and obviously deal with the situation accordingly if Julia is in the vehicle. All right, just gonna go ahead and pull her over here right after the light. Like that. Uh, probably actually not the best spot to stop her, but she's taking off on us. Uh, dispatch 3 Adam 10. I uh, have a vehicle taking off here on me. We're going to be 1080 southbound on Power Street. Alright, looks like she is taking off on us because of that suspended license. Whoa, very close there to that motorcycle. Almost 1050 there with that bike. Uh, still continuing south on Power Street. We're going to be making a turn here. It looks like we're going to turn right and uh, turn into onto Innocence Boulevard westbound now on Innocence Boulevard. Not sure if she's trying to decide where to go. She's thinking about it. We're going to be in the opposite lanes of traffic now. 
uh, crossing here at the intersection of Alta Street. There's, there's vehicles in my way. And still continuing westbound on Innocence. And again, being blocked by traffic. She's going to be completely stuck now. This might be it right here. I'm going to try to get out and get her out of the vehicle. Uh, she might be getting out. Yep, she's running. We're going to be running. Come back here. Police, stop! She's going to be heading onto the freeway. Stop, police! She's been tased right in her fat ass. Get on the ground. LSPD, Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Get on the ground. We're done here. Do not run. Man, I do not want to see that thong. Oh, what the hell was that? Jesus. All right, Julia. Come back here with me. Why are you running? Huh? You got a suspended license? That's why you took off on us here tonight? All right, why don't you come right over here? All right, sit down for me just right here. All right, I'm just going to pull up my vehicle uh, a little bit more. Maybe these guys will be able to get around us. Put it like that. All right, Julia. What do you got on you? Anything illegal? Anything that I should be aware of? Let's go ahead and uh, search her uh, bosom. And she's got nothing of interest. Okay. Let's do a quick check here on her. Let's find out if she does have a suspended license. Dispatch a 3 out of 10 requesting a 1027 on a Julia Sedillo. Yep. Dispatch confirming there she, she does have a suspended license. Okay. We'll get a prisoner transport out here to uh, pick her up. And she's going to be going to jail tonight for driving on a suspended license as well as... Uh, running away there from us. Uh, dispatch a 3 out of 10 requesting a 1091 here to my location. And while we wait for the prisoner transport there to show up, let's go ahead and search her vehicle. She's got several bags of marijuana. Another, uh, another reason, rather, well, why she was running away. And uh, some mosquito repellent as well. So, there we go. Uh, dispatch, uh, 3 out of 10. I'm gonna need a, uh, 1051 here to my location as well for the, uh, vehicle. There's our PT showing up for the, uh, suspect. She's gonna get picked up. And, uh, tow truck should be right on the other side of the intersection there, so we're gonna be good to go here in a few seconds. Alright, she's being loaded into the vehicle. Tow truck right there, gonna pick up that car. There we go. And we're all clear here. Dispatch uh, 3 out of 10. You can show me clear. And uh, I'm going to be 10-8. Uh, Thank you. Attention all units. Assistance required. An aircraft crash. An aircraft crash. Holy shit. Uh, dispatch 3 out of 10. Responding code 3. Oh, I hear major explosions. Let's head over there immediately. Not sure what the situation is, what sort of an aircraft is involved. But let's get over there. It's going to be right down the street here. Major, major emergency. Very serious situation. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be right here. Yep, there's the aircraft. Looks like a small business aircraft. Holy shit. Uh, dispatch 3, Adam 10. Uh, we do have an aircraft down. Requesting a, uh, 10, uh, can we get an ambulance out here? No? Let's go see. Maybe we have to get closer. Yeah, let's call fire services. Uh, dispatch 3, Adam 10. Requesting a 1052 here to my location. There they come. Not sure what I'm searching on the ground there for. We do have individuals that are down. Oh, I guess I found his identification. Uh, dispatch uh, 3 out of 10. Uh, need that 1052 here to my location. I don't know if there's anybody else in the aircraft at all. Multiple people down right here. Whoa, ambulance just driving over somebody. Man, don't you see? That son of a bitch is dead. Oh, 
Well, there we go. What a response here by EMS. Multiple fire engines here on site. Ambulances. Whoa, what the hell are you doing there, dumbass? There we go. I th I'm not sure why they're not helping this guy. Oh, there they are. Nope, they are helping them now. And they're trying to resuscitate that person. So it looks like those are the only two that uh, were involved here in the aircraft crash. Which is... Good, because, I mean, the aircraft can definitely carry a bunch of people, but we only have two victims down. Not sure what that police officer there is doing, but... Alright, do we do have a person here that is uh, unfortunately passed away, and so did the other one. Yep, they're both deceased from an explosion. Uh, dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10, going to be requesting a 1079 here to my location. Both victims are down and uh, deceased. Looks like EMS maybe still going to try to resuscitate him. Whoa, what are you doing, fireman? Jesus, looks like EMS still trying to work on them. This is just crazy. Traffic is just piling up here too. Wow. It's insane. Yep. No, they are gone. We are waiting for the... Uh, are they just driving over the dead bodies there? Yep, they sure are. As they all leave the scene. Uh, we do have coroner on the way as well. So hopefully they're going to get here soon and be able to clean it up. And then we can actually get this uh, road open back up. There's the cor coroner on the side of the... Uh, Oh, the van is on its side. Fantastic. Oh, of course. Wow. Alright, they're going to clean up the uh, bodies here. And uh, we'll be able to open the road back up, get this all cleaned up and good to go. Wow, that was crazy. I'm not sure why they went down, but... At least they didn't hit any of the buildings or anything like that, so that is good. Uh, dispatch uh, 3 out of 10. We're going to be code 4 here. The uh, victims have been uh, taken care of and uh, I'm going to be leaving the scene. I'll let the uh, emergency responders here clean up the rest of it. Well guys, that is going to do it for this crazy episode. What a crazy end here to this episode. I will of course catch you on the next one as well as the live streams. Uh, stay tuned for those. And thank you for watching and thank you, everybody, for supporting me. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Dispatch a 3 out of 10. I'm going to be 1042 and I'm going to be 107 back to the station. Not sure what that officer is doing. What the hell was that? Stupid idiot.